With the Central Coast under shelter-in-place orders, the public is asked not to leave home except for essential travel. If you do have to leave home, you are asked to practice social distancing. And as many of you noticed, here at KSBW, we're distancing. Our uh, Sunrise anchor, Lauren Seaver, has been working from home. You saw Aaron at 5 o'clock. But uh, Lauren has uh, more on just the importance of following these guidelines. Watch. By now, we know the term social distancing all too well. The new guidelines announced by the White House this week urging Americans to avoid travel, social gatherings, shopping trips, restaurants, and bars. In my personal experience, social distancing works. It will save my son's life and so many others. You may remember my son Brayden was born last February with a life-threatening condition, congenital diaphragmatic hernia or CDH. He was born with only 20% lung volume and spent months fighting for his life in the ICU at Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital. Two weeks on the highest form of life support and three surgeries later, he was discharged. We were given the green light to head home, but also a warning from our medical team that Braden would have to stay healthy for a few years. Even a regular cold could be deadly for him. Social distancing and good hygiene are not new practices for our family. We're probably experts at this point. That being said, in our expert opinion, it works. In the last year, we've managed to keep Braden very healthy by avoiding social gatherings, sporting events, concerts, and trips. We've also been deep cleaning door handles, light switches, cell phones on a near daily basis and washing our hands about a hundred times a day. In the next few weeks, months, as you adjust to this temporary pause to normal life, please remember why we're doing this, to protect those who are most at risk of dying from COVID-19, like my sweet bee. Our precious boy still has extremely tiny lungs and not enough to fight an upper respiratory infection. Please think of him and all of those in the extremely vulnerable group who need our help right now. I beg you to do the right thing. Wash your hands and please just stay home. And so this is what it means. Skip the crowds. Uh, order in if you can. Uh, no gatherings of more than 10 people and not even those if you don't have to. Postpone any parties. If you can, order groceries and meals to your home. Don't shake hands or hug. Just wave to people and try and stay six feet away from others. You can go outside. A lot of people are out today but keep your distance.